Hey there and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a very, very, very requested video for so many months now. Um, and I'm finally getting around to it. I'm gonna kind of cut in um, to other sections because I filmed other parts before and after. And yeah, it's just gonna be a pretty short video on all things nail care and nail care routine and painting and all that, I um, started getting a lot of questions around my nails kind of late last year, late 2020, because I'd grown my nails out and was doing a lot of manicures just out of pure boredom uh, mainly. Um, but yeah, I kind of alternate. Right now I have more kind of medium um, so nails because I, you know, cut them from time to time. I don't always keep them super long, but the clips that you're gonna see um, with, uh, when I, you know, cut into are when I have the super long nails. So you can kind of see what they look like. And so, yeah, I don't do anything super, super extravagant, but I would say in general, um, the best things you can do aren't the stuff that I'm gonna show you in these clips. The best things you can do for your nail, skin, and hair is always, you know, like a great diet and vitamins and making sure that you're hydrated and feeling good on the inside. And then that kind of always shows up in hair and skin and all that. I take biotin uh, also about five days a week. Um, and I've only started to do that the last five or so years. Uh, mainly for my hair, honestly, that's where I feel like I noticed the most difference. Um, but I've just always had very, very strong nails, knock on wood, and very thick nails. So I think that kind of also plays into the fact of being able to grow out my nails. However, there are definitely things I do to kind of help that because you can break a nail no matter how strong your nails are. So the first clip, just to give you a little background, is just my raw, clean nails. Um, before starting a manicure, I always use 100% acetone to just strip my nails and kind of dehydrate them, clean them off of anything that I'd worn previously, and then I file them. And that kind of changes from, like the shape changes from what I'm kind of feeling. Um, when I have the longest nails that I personally have, my favorite nail shape is always oval. It always has been. I'm just an oval gal. I like oval cut rings. I love oval shaped na nails. It's just a personality a trait, but I think um, because I have small hands, I really prefer longer nails and oval shapes because they kind of elongate my fingers and I really like that. I feel like if you have longer fingers and bigger hands, um, maybe you'd prefer kind of more I like square cut or coffin um, or even round. So it really just depends on what you're, you're interested in having. But when I have shorter nails, I do keep them a little bit more squared until they get to that length, especially my thumbs, because they end up growing in a square shape anyway. So I kind of let them do their own square shape thing um, while they're shorter and then once they get longer, I just always in between manicures will file them. I just use, um, this is just a Revlon, Revlon file. I don't get anything super fancy. I've had glass files before and honestly, they weren't my favorite, um, but I would be open to trying a better uh, file than this. This is just one that I've liked for the past little bit. Then I do use um, an instant cuticle remover and I sometimes just use my fingers to kind of rub that in. Sometimes I'll use a cuticle like pushback stick, which you'll see in the video. And then um, everything remaining, I actually do use a clipper for my cuticles. It just helps it really clean out the excess and makes my manicure last longer. And I have like such a pet peeve when nail polish gets on the cuticle. So definitely stray away from that. And then the last thing I show, and I, I think it got a little bit blurry on that video because it was hard to film, um, is just kind of like a balm. As of recently, I've been using this balm by uh, Wicked Good, actually, and it's peppermint, eucalyptus, and basil scented. It's called Peace of Mind, but really just any type of balm um, throughout the years. I've, chose, I've used Lemony Flutter, I think is what it used to be called by Lush. I don't think they even have that anymore. 
and I've used Sally Hansen ones, but just something that's more rich um, and either like a balm or an oil to kind of saturate and really moisturize the nail again. And I do that even when in between manicures when I'm just leaving my nails as is then I definitely moisturize the nails in between to just keep them strong and less brittle and therefore less prone to breakage. All right, so now we get to the first step after you've done all your prep. So for me, obviously that's base coat. I really recommend everyone to use a base coat and more or less, in my opinion, you'll see, I kind of change up these things. I don't really, subscribe to just one brand or one nail care routine. I change it up all the time. I'm gonna show you the one that I like the most that you've, you're seeing in the video. The Sticky Base Coat from Pro FX is my favorite. Pro FX in general, this line used to be sold at Walmart and online, and I was obsessed with it. I got it over and over again. They used to also come in like round, very bulbous bottles. Then they went to these and then they disappeared, you guys. I've, I've searched far and wide. I can't find them anywhere. This entire line is just gone and they were incredible. This is the only nail care brand that I felt like I wasn't really gonna stray from, like all their base coat, top coat, oil type stuff. I was obsessed with all of them, but the sticky base coat in general is my favorite. I still have very little, but I still do. I really wish they still had it, but they don't. And yeah, so honestly, there's a whole lot of base coats. The main thing is just to find one that really works for you. Um, I do like the Essie one that helps with stained nails because sometimes I get stained nails if I'm wearing nail polish over and over again. Um, that one's nice. I like the OPI ones. It, I just changed them up, but the main thing is to definitely wear one. You can choose the kind of peel off ones, which I like from time to time. Even regular base coats sometimes become like peel off, but it's going to help with longevity. It's going to help, help your nail color have something better to grip to and really just make sure that you're covering the entire nail when you put on that base coat because obviously it's clear and the last thing you want is to kind of miss a part and then when you put on nail color you can really see that so that's what i'll say about base coat then we get to color and i don't tend to do crazy intricate designs on my nails sometimes if i'm really bored i'll do a whole design and you know put on stickers like around Christmas I did that but I have to really be in the mood in general I do one of two things I either either do a full color or a French tip and the full colors that I enjoy are varied but a line that I really like are the holographic nail colors from color club I have like eight or ten I've almost all that they've come up with uh, come out with and I love them this one's crystal baller uh, in the video I'm wearing the purple one that you guys, it's a mystery I think it's called, you guys really liked. But I just love holographic nail colors and the Color Club ones are well made I think. They last a long time and they're super beautiful in the sunlight so that one's really nice for an all over color. And then French tips, sometimes I do like a white, a classic white, but in general I like to do color French tips. And there's a whole bunch so I thought I'd bring like two brands that I do like. Wet n Wild's uh, One Step Wonder Gel, you don't need a light. It's got a very thick brush, which I love. That is key, you guys. It's just like a two swipe wonder on the smaller nails, just one swipe. It's amazing, the color's very opaque. And while I really like a lot of Essie colors, their, their brush is killer because it's so thin. So. I really like that one, very inexpensive. I also love Sinful Colors. I think they have great colors. Again, super inexpensive, and um, even more so if you find it like Winners, Marshalls, and stuff. This has a thinner brush, but it's still like thick uh, in terms of how many hairs. I really hate when it feels like there's only like four hairs on a brush and you're just getting all streaky with it. So I like all colors. I think blue greens are kind of my favorite because I just am into that kind of vibe and neutrals as well. I really like that, but I'm in the mood for pretty much everything and I have so many nail polish colors, you guys. It would bore you to see a full collection. Um, and then you get to your top coat. So the main thing is before you're getting your top coat, it's really important for your color to um, be relatively dry. 
obviously like you don't want it to be it doesn't have to be you know the, to the to, to the dry point where you could like stick a nail on it or something but you know pretty dry so that you're not getting anything streaky or gloopy also when you're putting on your nail color the best thing is to just ensure that the part that's closest to the cuticle is close to the cuticle but not ever touching it to leave a little gap so that it looks kind of like a fresh manicure and that so it's even so that you don't have one part that's kind of closer to the cuticle and one part super far away and then you get to the top coat and again I've used a whole bunch um, right here I have like the OPI infinite shine one but I've used Essie I've used wet and wild I've used Rimmel it really just in general i always get the super shiny glossy ones i have had matte top coats they're not really my thing um in general i am a super like glossy nail polish gal but just make sure that you're using a top coat again to seal it all in and as long as you you know get the color also on the edge of the nail and you're getting the top coat there as well it should last on you so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously it's super different from the fragrance videos, but so many of you had been asking and let me know in the comments below what other kind of videos you wanna see from me because I'd, I'd be down to do them, whether it's hair care or, or makeup or whatever it may be. So I hope this helps. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.